I decided to go ahead and sit down with a tracker and mess around a bit with some sounds that I created and gathered. Uh, I wanted to film most of my arrangement process and see how it came out. Initially, I really didn't think this would amount to anything, but I actually kind of enjoyed where the track was headed, so I went ahead and finished it up and brought it into Ableton. This video covers the break sequencing, bass patterns, and arrangement, along with some uh, song structure. I'm not sure I'd necessarily call it a, a full tutorial or anything like that because I'm not really kind of getting too into the weeds as far as the tracker goes. But if you're kind of stuck with a song idea and need help with a kind of a arrangement ideas and, and song structure, you know, watching this workflow may help out a bit. Um, my process for this track was to kind of get a break going with some bass and then arrange a quick uh, song. And as I said, I enjoyed where it was headed, so I wanted to work with the song further. So I exported what I had in the tracker and brought the stems into Ableton to process and mix them. So typically for any kind of song, just record that directly from the tracker into um, my field recorder or Ableton and then just throw some basic mastering like soft tube tape and maybe one other plugin on it. I don't have a, a large mastering chain at all, but I've never exported or dealt with stems. And because I brought those stems in Ableton. It's not really like I added 50 extra tracks or anything like that. Um, after I brought it in, I added some field recordings to complement the atmosphere. I also wanted to process the bass a little bit differently, so that sound changed up a little bit, um, but the pattern stayed the same. I also changed up the uh, kind of melody sound into MIDI and created a patch in Serum to kind of sequence out. Um, I also added a handful of uh, transition effects. Um, I tend to keep them pretty simple. I also did some really, as I said, really simple remixing and some very basic mastering. Uh, I am by no means an expert in those areas. Uh, I'm always trying to get better. 
especially since I'm always using headphones, I, I don't have a situation where I can really use any kind of studio monitors. Um, you know, anyways, adding those transition effects and the field recordings and changing up those sounds, I think worked out pretty well. And I was pretty happy with the outcome. The Polyon Tracker really is an amazing device. And, you know, you can create an entire song solely on the tracker. Um, but I'm also realizing that it's a fantastic, uh, device to kind of sketch out an idea and, you know, that you can kind of take into a finalized track if you want. So what we'll start with is we're gonna do we're gonna be doing a lot of sequencing here. Um, I have a lot of sounds chosen um, and already loaded up. We're gonna be sequencing a break. We'll chop it up and then we'll also sequence out a bass sound, an 808 bass sound, and we'll uh, you know kind of arrange some atmospheric sounds and some effects and and uh, some other samples that we have going. I'm kind of going for an, an aquatic vibe. Yeah. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started uh, with the breaks. So we have our break here, and I was gonna go ahead and film everything and kind of show how I chop this chop the break up but it became pretty boring and it was getting kind of long and so I, I spared everyone the boredom there um, but what you can kind of tell from looking at this break is I'm gonna zoom out I don't have it chopped equally I didn't uh, add a slice to every transient um, sometimes I do that but it's pretty rare and by doing that especially when you start factoring in velocity and volume when you're sequencing these out um, you know, it kind of adds a little bit of interesting movement to the breaks. And I think for atmospheric and intelligent drum and bass, like that kind of uh, sound, um, you know, I, I, I want the breaks to be kind of loose and light. I like to work on the bottom patterns here when I'm just doing breaks. Instead of just starting at pattern one, I'll do like 37 or even all the way to the right at 48. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go, um, I'll start with 37 and, and we'll, we'll start working our way right as we make more uh, breaks. So I'm gonna make these breaks four bars long and I'm gonna go ahead and make it uh, set the length to 64 steps. So we're on, we're on pattern 37. So for this first break, I'm gonna keep a lot of the original pattern and then I'll kind of mix it up at the end. So let's go ahead and lay this out here. So yeah, if you're following along, you'll be able to see what, which slice I'm keying in by the button I'm hitting and also which note comes up on the screen here. So we're just keeping along with the original break as it's kind of uh, laid out here. And once we get this thing laid out, this original kind of uh, sequence, we can copy and paste from here so it's not as uh, crazy when, you, when you're sequencing a whole bunch of stuff. So we're down into the, we're up in the second row now. Okay, cool. I like that double right there. So we'll keep that. We'll go. I see it's at step 49, we're going to start kind of a new, a new bar. So we're, we're going to change that up a little bit. So we'll do that. We'll do this one. Cool. So that one sounds, I kind of like that. We'll keep that one. Or something. We'll keep that. We'll do... Uh, you know, one thing I use often is if you hit shift play, it'll play from that point. So you don't have to keep on listening to the pattern over and over again, even though I will often listen to the pattern uh, a whole bunch as I'm doing this. But if you don't want to and you just kind of want to preview from whatever step you're on, shift, play, we'll do that. Okay, we'll do this. We'll go, we'll go down here. We'll, we'll do, a, do that sound. And then we'll go into we'll end with this one. All right, cool. So we've got a couple little pauses there. I think sound pretty nice. So we'll use this as our kind of our first pattern. So, and, and as I said, we'll make about five or six of these drum patterns here. So we'll try to go through these pretty quickly. So we're going to go to pattern 38 now, and we're going to change the length to 64. So for the second pattern, what we'll do is we'll keep the original kind of break sequence. So what we'll do is we'll kind of copy the first uh, three bars from this one up to step 49, because 49 is where we start that new bar. Where we kind of change it up a little bit. So... 
Oh, whoops, we actually changed before then. So let's do up to step. Um, we'll let's do up to step. Let's see. We'll go up to this one before we double hit on that one. So I'm going to copy this. Go to my second pattern here. I'm going to paste it down. I'm going to delete out because I want the original pattern here. And we, we kind of broke from the original pattern when we hit this step 43 on that previous pattern. So I'm on 43 now, so I'm going to go do that. So we're going to go to E, we're going to go to the, we're going to follow up this D sharp four with E four, the next slice in, in the sequence. And then this one goes um, an entire bar. To, so the new bar, we're going to start, we're going to do this F four here, F sharp. This goes down to a G there, to a G sharp four, and then we end with the A. Great, so we know that pattern 38, our second break pattern, is going to be the original sequence. So yeah, let's go ahead and work on the third pattern. So we're going to go to pattern 39, make it 64 steps. And so for this third pattern here is, again, you know, there's, if you have a break sounding good, and you like the way the break sounds as an original sequence, you don't really have to kind of completely resequence it. If you like it, let's go ahead and just keep it. And I'm kind of digging this light, airy sound. So what we'll do is we're gonna we'll copy the first three bars of this one again. So let's do 49, step 49, move up from there, and we're gonna copy this. So we're gonna copy it, move to pattern 39, where we're just at 64 steps, right? And then we'll paste this down. We're starting on step thir uh, 49 of this pattern three, okay? And we'll make this one kind of, uh, we'll mix it up a little bit. We'll just do, okay, so we'll do, let's see. And then at step 56, or 57, what we'll do is we'll go back down to, let's see. All right, let's see what that sounds like. All right, cool. So that's got a little bit of a kind of a pause at the end, but that sounds kind of nice. We'll go ahead and keep that. So we're gonna move to pattern 40 here, 64 steps. And we're going to kind of, uh, this. so this is break pattern number four, and we'll kind of mix this one up a little bit here. We'll do, uh... and a lot of this when you're going through it is, um, if you do it enough times, you'll kind of, you'll kind of know what you want to go for. But if you're just starting out, I mean, uh, experimenting with the break, is uh, definitely encouraged. But we'll just do, we'll do a C3 into a G4 here. All right, cool. So we'll keep that and then we'll do, let's see. We'll do this. It's actually kind of similar sounding what we had, original break. All right, cool. That double snare is always great. So we'll keep that. We'll have to go down to here. Have that double up. Okay, cool. And then we'll go up to the G again. So we got a little bit of shuffle there. That sounds pretty cool. And we'll go down to a snare. Cool. So we're kind of getting uh, a little bit of a uh, interesting pattern here. Uh, let's see. So on the new bar, let's do, let's do a kick here. All right, cool. That shuffle again. Cool. Yeah, let's do snare here. Let's keep going. All right. And those pauses won't sound uh, jarring when you have the entire track going. I mean, we'll probably put a shaker loop under this as well.
cool. So we got some more uh, some more space in there. We'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna probably a little, put a little pause here. We'll end it with. All right, cool. I like that uh, that sequence. So that's our fourth break pattern. So let's go ahead and make a fifth one here. 64 steps, we're on pattern 41. So for this fifth one, what we'll do is we'll take the oh, we'll take the original break here. And we're gonna copy the entire thing. Go to pattern 41 again. And we're gonna paste it down. So we have the original break here as it's sequenced. And we're gonna go ahead and start on around step 49 here. And we'll, we'll change this up a little bit. So we're gonna go to step 49, I'm gonna delete everything below it. So what we'll do is we're gonna we'll swap these up. We'll take uh, this D sharp uh, slice here and we'll swap it with this E slice. So we're gonna do E there. Whoops. And D sharp. All right, cool. Because we want to have a little bit. I want to have a little bit of uh, silence right there. So we're gonna. This one will end, and we'll be able to start something on the new step here. And what we'll do is we'll open it with that same one. So we'll do this, and then we'll go. That. Do another one there. We'll have a little shuffle. So we've got do that. And we'll do do this, and let's see what this sounds like really quick from 49. All right, cool. So we've got this there. We'll go here. We'll start. We'll, we'll go back to um, that shuffle sound there, and we'll go to. Let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. All right, cool, I like that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next pattern. So we're working on pattern 42 now. This will be break pattern number six on pattern 42. And we're gonna make it 64 steps again. And let's go ahead and get something going here. So for this one, what I'll do is I'm gonna take the original break, which again is pattern 38 or the second break sequence we did. I'm gonna copy it, go back to 42 and paste it. So we have break pattern number six here and we're gonna, as you saw, I copied the uh, original break pattern in here. So we're gonna keep the first half of it. Um, we'll keep we'll keep those sounds, we'll keep those. We'll start the, so we're gonna start a new pattern at, at step 41 here. So we'll go ahead and let's see what we got going. We'll do a kick there. We'll keep this here. All right, I like that, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna go down to, keep a little shuffle sound there. Do this. Mm, let's see what it sounds like. All right, cool. I like that. So we'll do. Let's see. We'll keep that there. We'll keep this G here, and then we'll go down to this F sharp again, and then we'll keep this. Here. This track, this uh, break is processed slightly a little bit, and so you know that's always kind of fun. If anyone is interested in that process, I will be more than happy to kind of do a tutorial for that. I just don't know how exciting it will be, but if you're interested in that, just let me know. Okay, so for the bass sequence, what we're going to use is an 808 bass sound, and uh, this 808 bass sample. You may not be able to hear this if you're just listening through uh, computer speakers or your phone, um, but. Yeah, that 808 bass sample, that's from uh, the Jungle Warfare 1, really popular 90s sample CD, and it was used a ton back then. And so, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just use that sound. So let's go ahead and move to one of our drum patterns here. We're just going to work on the first one. We have pattern 37, which is our first break sequence that we did. And I'm just going to go ahead and start kind of sequencing a, a bass line here. Now, the 808 bass line, what I like to do is I like keeping it pretty spacey and kind of uh, simplistic. If you want to use something a little bit more... Uh, aggressive, you can certainly kind of substitute a different bass sound, but yeah, I, I really like the kind of the lightness of this 808 bass sound, so I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start with a G right here, and then I'm gonna have it go into another one, probably right here. 
And one thing to keep in mind when I'm when I'm doing these 808 base patterns, I'm typically keeping them very simplistic. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy or complex. Uh, one thing I do follow is I will often, depending on what kind of sound I'm going for, I don't really want to say um, have a bass a bass hit on like right after a drum hit. So like this. Now I'm not really going for that. I mean, definitely if that's uh, something you're going for, it, it'll work sometimes. But yeah, I like kind of keep it on eighth notes here. So we're just gonna we'll, or have it sh you know share with a with a kick on the the same step as a kick. So we'll do that. Let's see. We'll do we'll go here into another. We're just doing some G's here. I'm gonna turn that note off. Cool. So we're gonna do that. And again, I'm gonna try to make this kind of uh, go through this kind of quickly so we can get we can get moving here. So we'll go up to like. Um, All right, that's cool. We'll do that, and we'll turn it off. Um, again, what I'm going for is space and kind of lightness, and so I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn off some of these notes here after they hit. That's cool. We'll do that, and we'll put. Kind of works for me. We'll, we'll keep that going here. Let's see. All right, I kind of like that. But yeah, we want to just make sure it's, we got a little bit of clarity here. We'll turn the note off there, and we'll go. We're gonna go kind of high at this one, and so we'll leave that there at uh, a five, and then we'll go. We'll do a D here. We'll do that, and then we'll go back down to. We'll do a sharp four. And then we'll go into just maybe some, uh, let's see. Do a C here and then a C there. And we'll have this end. All right, cool. I think that sounds pretty neat. I'm kind of digging that, so we'll, we'll leave that right now. So let's go ahead and make a second bass pattern. I'm just going to do this on pattern four, 40, which is our uh, break pattern four. And if you recall, this one sounded a little bit different than the other ones. So that drum pattern has a little bit more space in it. Let's go ahead and get a bass pattern going on this one. So let's see here. We're going to do it. So we'll go ahead and start with a G here. And then we'll leave a little bit of space here. We're going to... I'm going to cut it off there at uh, step five, and then I'm going to go all the way past because, uh, again, this break is a little bit more airy and spaced out, so we're going to go ahead and kind of uh, match that with the bass line. All right, and what we'll do is we'll start on the new, after the new bar here, we'll throw in, um, do a C, and we'll go into a D here, maybe a C there. See what it sounds like on this new bar. All right, cool. And then what we'll do also is we'll do um, all right, cool. So we'll do that. And then on this new bar, we'll put we'll throw another G here. All right, cool. And again, we'll 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 end this note here. And then we're gonna go create a little bit more space. We'll go to step 49 at the new bar here, and we'll throw in. And we'll use a, we'll use this lower A sharp four, and then we'll have it go into a D, and then we'll have that D end, and we'll do an A sharp, another A sharp here. And we'll have that go, and we'll have that kind of do what we did last time. We'll have it go into two. We'll go and have it go into two C notes here. All right, cool. So we've got a couple bass patterns and now we have six drum patterns. And what we're going to do is we'll start kind of arranging the track and using some atmospheric sounds. So since we're here, let's go ahead and add a quick shaker loop. I have this shaker loop loaded up here on, uh, let's see, it's down here, shakers. There we go. I made this shaker loop and I'm just going to go ahead. It's uh, just eight steps. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in here. Uh, 
um, let's go ahead and start working on some arrangement here. And so for our intro pattern, let's go ahead and put the first chord down here, chord intro one. These aren't a full eight bars long, so we're going to want to probably turn the note off and have it kind of release at um, maybe step 97 or something. Let's see. There we go. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, that sounds pretty good. So we'll, we'll have these kind of fade out and end at uh, step 97. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to copy this pattern. So I'm going to hit pattern, copy, okay? I'm going to go to pattern 2. I'm going to hold down the pattern, shift, and then paste. That will It will then paste that pattern down. And I'm going to use the second chord intro here. Cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a third pattern here, which is again, eight bars. We're going to copy this pattern, pattern, copy pattern. Now we're on pattern three, pattern, shift, paste. And I'm going to change this to chord intro three. And that one should be okay. All right, cool. So we'll keep that. We'll copy down this pattern, pattern, copy, go to pattern four paste it down. So this fourth pattern is going to start with chord intro four, right? And this one will have, we'll have two, we'll, we'll have chord intro four in there, but I'll, we'll also throw that uh, other chord intro in there. So this one's going to go to about a little bit more than halfway. Let's see. We'll do 73. Let's see what that sounds like. And then we're going to throw the next, on this next column here in the next track, we're going to do chord intro six. So what we're going to do on this, uh, let's see, for instrument number seven, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume a little bit more. That doesn't need to be super loud. All right, cool. And we'll, we'll have it turn it off at about 117. Okay, so now that we have four patterns, we're gonna go ahead and song mode. And what I usually do for song mode is I will start adding the patterns as I create them. Um, that's if I know the structure of the track, which for this tutorial I do. We're gonna go ahead and add these to song mode as we come up with them. So we have slots one through four are filled with patterns one through four. But on pattern four, what I'm gonna do is I have a few riser effects to uh, transition into the second set of chords. So let's go ahead and do those really quick. So in track three, what we're going to do is let's go to step 64 and we're going to go ahead and place, um, let's see, let's do, let's do this orb rise one. We'll also, let's see, we'll do um, down here, we'll add on step 81, we're going to add, we're going to add um, orb normal one. That one's really loud. Let's go ahead and bring the volume down on these. All right, cool. Also on step 81, let's go ahead and add, uh, let's see, let's do spell rise one. And we'll adjust the volume on that one too. All right, cool. So we'll keep that for now and we'll just have that lead into some drums. So let's go ahead and work on uh, you know, we've got our intro done, so let's go ahead and work on some main stuff here. So let's go ahead and work on some main patterns here. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's put some of our chords down. So I'm going to use this chord two underscore one wave file and then Riviera one wave file. Okay. So I typically tend to kind of throw my atmospheric and pad sounds to the right. So, you know, I track seven, eight, six. And what I also want to add here is I'm going to throw in another atmospheric sound. Let's see here. That's way too loud. Okay, so let's bring this down a lot. Okay, cool. 
we have, remember, our below here on the bottom uh, row, we have our six break patterns. So for this one, I'm gonna use pattern one. So I'm gonna copy this first track, all right? I'm gonna bring go over to pattern five, I'm gonna paste that down so we have our drum track there. We're gonna have, again, since our drum patterns were only four bars, uh, for this particular pattern, pattern five, we're going to just go ahead and dupe these at step 65. So we've, we have two of our uh, break pattern ones on this pattern right here. And then we also wanna add those shakers. So let's go back to pattern 37 here and grab our shakers, which is this column here, track three. I'm gonna go back to pattern five. I will go ahead and put the shakers in track two. I will do that twice, there we go. Okay, so we have our shakers and our drums from uh, break pattern one. And we also have our atmospheric sound and that kind of falling noise sound. Okay, so let's see what else we can add here. We're gonna throw our, we're not gonna th use a bass sample just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another sound here. Let's do this uh, kind of uh, kind of pulsing sound right here. And let's see, let's see what it sounds like. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the halfway point at part 65, and I'm going to add Okay, cool. So we have that little opening one here. We have this for these first eight bars. Let's go back into our song mode and we'll add that. So we have uh, pattern five. Let's go back to our pattern. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy pattern five. I'm gonna copy this pattern here, pattern five, right? So I'm hitting uh, pattern copy. I'm gonna go to pattern six. I'm gonna paste this down, okay? So in this pattern, what we're gonna change up, we're definitely gonna change up the drums. Uh, we're not introducing our bass yet. I'm gonna change up these, these uh, chord sounds because as I mentioned before, we have these chords, we have this uh, chord two underscore one and chord two underscore two. These will kind of evolve through the track between between each other. And each one of those is, is roughly eight bars. And so we're gonna go ahead and change that. Whoops, that was wrong. We'll change this one to Riviera two, all right, which is instrument 20. And then we'll change this one to chord two underscore two. And then here, this is that, um, that falling sound. We don't need that anymore. And then we have that one we're gonna keep that one so what we're gonna do next is we know our shaker sound can stay right so track two can stay as is but we want to change up our drum track so we, what we want to do is we want to take drum pattern two which if you recall is our kind of bass pattern what the original break sounded like so I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna go back to pattern six I'm gonna paste this down okay and that was only the first half for the second half of this bar I'm gonna go ahead and take pattern three of drums which again our drums aren't super Super crazy. They're pretty basic, but there um, there's some variety. There's enough variety in there that kind of make it interesting to listen to. So let's go ahead and move to uh, let's see bar 65 or step 65 here. I'm gonna paste it down. All right. So let's go ahead and listen to this. All right, cool, I think it sounds pretty good. So we have that second half there. My basic layout structure is I typically have kind of a, a set of intro breaks like this, and then I have a quick breakdown, and then I have kind of a main section, another quick breakdown, and then I kind of go into the ending section. It's a fairly basic arrangement, but I feel like for atmospheric drum and bass, if you kind of start arranging tracks like that, you know, you kind of sprinkle in one shot effects here and there and kind of change up, add some edits to your patterns, you can actually get you know pretty far with a basic arrangement like that. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and lead ourselves into a breakdown. So we'll use a couple risers here. So in track four, let's go ahead and go to the halfway point. What we'll do at this halfway point is add the orb rise one. And then over here on track six, what we'll do is we'll go down to about, let's see, past halfway point here. So, so at, at step 81, let's go ahead and add a spell rise, right? A spell rise one. <laughs> All right, good, that timing sounds pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that and we'll work on a quick breakdown. So for this breakdown, we're just gonna go ahead and throw a chord here. We'll just throw a chord two underscore one because you just wanna have one chord playing. 
we want drums to play for half of this. So we're gonna on on step 65 here, we're gonna add we're gonna add a drum pattern. So let's go to our drum patterns, and we'll take um, drum pattern four, which is here on pattern 40. Go to the top, and go ahead and copy drum pattern four, and we will um, we'll leave the shakers out of this one for now. All right, we're gonna copy that one. And we're going to go to pattern seven, and we will go down to uh, we'll go down to sixty-five here, and we will paste this pattern down. All right, so we're pasting it down. Okay, so we have our drums in there for half of it, and then we'll also we're gonna we'll have those other kind of uh, watery sounds here. Let's do that sound sound uh, instrument. We'll do instrument fifteen there. We'll have let's see. All right, cool. We'll do that. Okay, so we have that. And let's let's have a riser kind of lead into our drums here. Let's see. We'll go to about step twenty, and we're going to add the sound bright rise, which is instrument number ten, and that should lead nicely into our drums. I just want to make sure the volume wasn't too loud on that one. Okay, let's listen to it. Cool. All right, so that works. And we'll also, what we'll do is we'll also have, so let's balance out this uh, instrument 15 with another sound here. Let's go down to, let's go down to 33 here and we'll add this uh, Nin C2. Cool. I like that sound. All right, cool. So when the drums are playing, what we're going to do is we're also going to have, we'll have another kind of, um, kind of a textured riser sound. Let's do the, um, let's do that orb rise again. We'll do that here on track five. So instrument, instrument eighteen, at step sixty-five on track five here. We'll also add at uh, step sixty-five. We're going to put, let's go ahead and throw in um, another one of these orb normal two. So instrument, instrument number seventeen. All right, cool. So we've got a nice little simple chill breakdown and we'll move on to our, our second half of the song next. All right, so let's go ahead and song mode here and let's add our breakdown pattern. All right, cool. So we have that sounding pretty okay. And what we'll do next is work on another set of main patterns here. So let's go ahead and get this uh, second part going. I'm gonna take, this is drum pattern two here, right? So this is our bass pattern. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna bring it over to pattern eight. So um, let's go ahead and paste it down. And we'll just paste. We'll paste uh, pattern two there, and we'll have instead of duping that, we'll we'll use pattern one. Let's go ahead and copy the break sequence one, which is on pattern thirty-seven. So we're copying track one from pattern thirty-seven. Going over to pattern eight here again, and I'm going down to sixty-five. I'm gonna paste down the second half of that that drum break. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do is also. We will keep our chords going, so I'm going to use um, Riviera 1 and chord 2 underscore 1. All right, and also we're going to kind of keep, we're definitely going to add the shakers to this one, so let's go ahead and grab our shaker track. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and go to pattern uh, 37 here really quick, our first break pattern, and I'm going to copy the bass pattern from this one. Remember, this is kind of our the first bass pattern that we did. So I'm gonna take uh, track two here. I'm gonna go to pattern eight. I'm in track three now. I'm gonna paste this down. And then I paste it down twice. And we'll have our bass pattern in there. Cool, that works for me. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna keep kind of that, you know, that, that vibe going here. Take that one, I want that one there. And I want this one to play at step one and also step 65. These will occur more often. So we're gonna go ahead and offset this with another sound. So I'm gonna go to track. I'm gonna to go to step 33 here. I'm gonna add this one. And 
And while that's playing, I'm also going to introduce, let's see, let's go up here, and I'm going to introduce another kind of watery uh, textured sound that I have here. So I'm going to go up a bar. So we'll go to track 17 here. I'm sorry, step 17 here. And I'm going to add, let's see, watery one. I want to make sure that's, make that pretty low. Cool. And we kind of want to use that throughout the track here, right? So let's go into, we'll go here to 97. And we will add, let's do Nin C2. We will copy this entire pattern here. So I'm going to pattern, well, first let's go ahead and add it to our song list here. So pattern eight. On pattern eight, we're going to copy this pattern. So pattern copy. I'm going to go to pattern nine and I'm going to paste it down, okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to leave this as is, but. I want to keep mo some of the elements in the same spot. So we're going to go through our chord progression here. So instead of Riviera 1, we're going to use Riviera 2. And then we'll also use the second half of this uh, chord 2. So chord 2 underscore 2. So we keep our chord progression going. And then also, that sound I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep that bass line. I'm going to keep the shakers. I'm going to change up the drums here really quick. So for the drums, I'm going to go ahead and keep the for the first half of this pattern, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the drums as is. So I'm gonna go to step 65. And starting at 65, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab our third break pattern, which, which is down here on pattern 39. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna go back to pattern nine. I'm gonna go to step 65. And I'm gonna paste it, all right? So now we have our new drum pattern there. And what we'll also do is we'll, we'll throw that orb normal two sound in here just to add a little bit more to it. Cool, I'm liking that. And what we'll do here in track five is we'll also add, keep that actually, I'm gonna move this over to track six. All right, so I'm moving that sound over to track six and in track six, I'm gonna go down here to step uh, 65. I'm going to add orb rise one. Great, so we have pattern nine ready to go, and we're gonna go ahead and add that to our song list. Okay, so what we're gonna do here when we move on to pattern 10 is, and this is the way I, I typically start arranging songs, right? So so if I know I want this uh, middle section to be a little bit longer, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate um, pattern eight and nine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two slots. I'm gonna change that to eight and have nine right there, right? So this is gonna repeat here. now. When I'm arranging the track and I'm and I'm getting to a point where I think it's uh, ready to be kind of finalized, what I'll do is I may go in there and decide to make an edit here in, in track or in pattern eight. And what I would do is I would take pattern eight, right? So it's pattern eight's being repeated on uh, slot eight and ten. So there's the same pattern. And I'm gonna go ahead. What I would do is I would go ahead and take pattern eight and I would copy it and then I would copy it to new pattern, make some kind of edit, and then use and then switch to that pattern for that slot. And so this is a great way to kind of uh, arrange songs, I think. I mean, it, it really allows you to kind of rapidly arrange a track and then find out where you want your variations and edits to go and then create new patterns that you can uh, kind of replace in that slot. So I want to lead this up into a breakdown again. So I'm going to go ahead and add another slot. I'm going to repeat pattern eight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add another slot. I'm going to put 10 in here. So what I'm going to do for 10 is I want to go ahead and grab pattern nine. So I'm going to go to pattern nine here. I'm going to copy the pattern go to pattern 10, paste down pattern nine. All right, so I've, I've duplicated pattern nine into pattern 10. Okay, but what I wanna do here is I'm gonna, I wanna go ahead and cut out the drums. So I'm gonna cut the drums. I'm gonna cut the drums at, at step 65. I'm gonna leave the bass, but I'm gonna get rid of the shakers too. So I'm going over here to step 65. I'm gonna cut the drums out and the shakers, so we'll go down, look at those two columns, delete, perfect. So we've kept the bass there. We're gonna keep our other kind of uh, melodic sounds in there, we'll keep our chord progression in there. But what we'll do is kind of throw a riser sound. Let's go to, so on step 65, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my spell rise sound here. So what we'll do is we'll have that lead into our next break. Go ahead and work on our second breakdown here. So we have pattern 10, and we're gonna go ahead and work on pattern 11. So let's go ahead and move over to pattern 11. We're gonna make that 128 steps. 
And for pattern 11, we, I know I want to go ahead and keep one of the chord progressions going. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this, uh, I'm going to start chord 2 underscore 1. So I have that going. I'm going to drop the other chord progression for now. I don't want it playing over this break. So what am I also going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and throw in on track 6. I'm going to use kind of a key sound and we'll do a little, uh, we'll do a little uh, kind of a melody here. Great. Okay. Again, I'm gonna kind of leave a lot of space in here between um, in between notes here because I don't want it to be you know super complex. I just want it to be kind of chill and easy going. So we're gonna go down here to um, step 33. We'll start a new one here. We'll do a do G. Maybe like a. So what we'll do is we'll take this, I mean it's a pretty basic melody, but again that's what I'm going for here. So I'm going to take this and what we'll do is we'll copy this, right? And I just want this to start on the second uh, half of this pattern here. So it's 65, I'm going to paste it down. Cool, alright, I like that. And what we'll also do at step 65 We'll put that orb rise sound in there. And what I'll also add, I'm also going to add, let's see here, we're going to do at 97, just on track four here, I'm going to go ahead and put the NIN C2 sound. Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this pattern here. So I'm going to copy it. Pattern copy. I'm going to go to pattern 12. I'm going to paste it down. So I have the same pattern as pattern 10 or pattern 11. Let's go in song mode and let's add these really quick. All right. So we kind of, again, this is just a great way to stay organized as you're doing it so you kind of know where you're at. So I'm going to go to pattern 12 here again. And for pattern 12, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the second bass pattern that we created. So I'm going to go here and grab it. It was on, uh, it was on pattern 40 down here. So I'm going to copy this and go back to pattern 12. I'm going to keep it on track three. I'm going to paste this down, paste it down twice. So we'll keep that. And we'll also, I'm also going to get rid of, let's see here. I'm going to go up to 97 and I want to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of this sound. I don't want to have that again. So we'll have this lead into another drop. Let's go look at our pattern here, our song. So we have, let's see. All right, not bad. So the song's coming along quite nicely. Let's go ahead and work on the second half of the main arrangement. Okay, so for the second part of the main arrangement here, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that melody going. So I'm gonna take pattern 12. Okay, I'm gonna start with pattern 12. I'm gonna copy pattern 12. I'm gonna go to pattern 13 here. I'm gonna paste pattern 12 down. So we're in pattern 13. I've duplicated pattern 12. And we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep this second bass, uh, bass sequence in here. And I'm going to go and grab the fourth break that we created. So I'm going to go here on pattern 40. I'm going to copy this. Go back to pattern 13. I'm going to paste it down. I'm, to, I'm actually going to use that pattern twice in this, uh, in this pattern here. And I'm going to keep the shakers out of it for now. because we'll bring those in on the next, uh, the next pattern. Go into song mode. I'm just going to listen to this transition. So I'm going to add a slot and then uh, put in pattern 13. We're, so we're going to go ahead and lead into another pattern here. And we'll do that. We'll go ahead and let's see. That's a riser sound, or that's the. Uh... All right, that's orb rise. We'll keep that in there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go and track four, and at at ninety seven. Go ahead and add nin C two again. 
All right, so in pattern 14, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we will use drum, uh, we used break pattern five and six on this one. So we're gonna go down to pattern 41. I'm gonna take this pattern, I'm gonna copy it. So I'm, I'm on pattern 14 here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that drum pattern down, that break sequence. And then I'm gonna take, go here to pattern, or pattern 42 for our sixth, our break sequence number six. I'm gonna copy that, go back to 14. I'm going to go to step 65. I'm going to paste this down. All right. And we'll also want to go ahead and add the shakers and paste it down. So we've got our shakers and our break here in, in pattern 14. Cool. All right. And we're also going to, we're going to continue our chord sequence here. And let's see what we have. Uh, we're, okay. So we had 11 on that one. We're going to do 12 on this one. So chord two underscore two. We're also going to introduce those Riviera chords again. And we're also going to get those uh, other melodic sounds in here. We also want to have that that key pattern going. So we're going to take here on track six. I'm going to I'm going to copy that key pattern. Great. I'm going to go ahead and add that sound. And obviously, we want our bass, right? So we're going to go to let's go to pattern thirteen. We'll just take the second bass pattern we did. We'll paste it down. All right, great. So we're going to take what we're going to do for our next pattern. We're going to take this pattern. We're going to copy it, right? So we're going to pattern 15. We're going to paste pattern 14 into there. All right, we're going to we're going to progress in our chord progression here. So so we're on 12 here. We're going to go back to 11. All right, and then for the Riviera chords, we're going to go to 19. Start over on that one. We're going to keep our melody going. We'll keep that sound. We're going to keep that bass line. We'll keep the shakers. And we're going to change our drum pattern out. So we'll go to pattern two here, which is on pattern 38, our, our break sequence two. I'm going to copy that break sequence. I'm going to go back to 15. I'm going to paste this down, right? And then I'm going to go and get, let's see, let's do pattern one here. All right, so I'm going to copy that. Go back to 15. I'm gonna go to 65, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste this pattern in place here. So let's do right there. Great. And what we'll do on this uh, 15, pattern 15, we will add Orbrizer 2 or Orbrise 1 on step 65 here on track four. Let's see. So if we look at our song mode here, we can see that we have our breakdown, our, our second breakdown starting at uh, slot 15. And then it leads into kind of a um, quick little drum pattern here. And then uh, we have our kind of main section, our second main section here starting on uh, slot 17, 14, 15. And what you can see here is I've, I've duplicated that because I just wanted to repeat twice. I actually probably have it repeat there we go. Third, we'll have 14 repeat the third time. And what I also notice here, let's go back to um, let's go back to pattern. Let's go back to pattern 14 here. And I don't. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this bass pattern. So this bass pattern with our was our second bass pattern, and I think the first bass pattern sounds better when it's playing with this drum break. So I'm going. Um, So I'm gonna to go to pattern 37 here. I'm gonna take this uh, this first bass pattern that we did, I'm gonna copy it. In pattern 14, we, we continued using our second break, our second bass pattern there. And I wanna go ahead and I don't wanna use that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste down our first bass pattern. So I've copied that in there. And the reason I'm doing that is I just think it sounds better with that drum pattern there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for step or for pattern 15 as well. All right. So back in song mode. So this is really kind of how I arrange these tracks, right? Okay, so I I do I go through here and I arrange the kind of the scaffolding or the shell of this song. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll fine tune and I'll make little edits here and there between the tracks um, and the patterns. So for the outro, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and duplicate the intro and throw these patterns down here. So pattern one through four. So yeah, so that's basically, you know, that's basically how I do it. Um, 
I just kind of get the get the shell down, the scaffolding down, and then I go in there and I make little edits and here and there. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.